here. Shh. We don't talk about him on my show. No, we're gonna talk about Until it. Until you get me a palette, okay? And you don't have freckles and you're not ugly. Your name doesn't get mentioned on my show. I'm not mentioning one ugly person on my show. And you don't see so you want to mention trash in front of me. Okay, watch what happens. I mentioned we're gonna talk about this. No, I'm not like talking about this. No, don't recall this. <laughs> Today he is getting his penis waxed and he usually uses hair removal creams. They cut their hairs off at the skin. So for him to try waxing, I'm very proud of him because one, I mean, you're getting your gear off on TV. So thank you so much, Frank. I think it's fantastic that family supports each other. And I haven't seen Frank in years since childhood. So we, I guess, rekindled recently uh, at Christmas time, I believe. Side note, Michael ruined that. Two, I mean, we're well, very lucky. His wife, Tiffany, was there. So she helped get him through the wax. And you'll see her beautiful set of nails. Okay, don't think that's me. I'll show you mine later. Yeah, we've just been in touch since. So today, Frank's coming in. My name is Frank, and I am a truck driver, delivery person. I deliver furniture for a predominantly big furniture company in Melbourne. I have not ever been waxed or treated before. This is my first time. I've known Michael my whole life. I mean, sorry, I've known David my <laughs> cup. Well, David is my cousin. I love him dearly. I've actually known Michael since I started watching the show. And then uh, my wife had never had never met da uh, David at the time. And I said, watch your show, it's my cousin here. So we started watching it and then from there we got hooked and we started binge watching it and the rest is history. Today, apparently I'm getting a wax on the uh, on the proverbial on the member so we're going to see how that goes so i think that's what is that they call that oh back sack and crack without the back so let's see how we go no i usually use the old nair you know, <laughs> usually chuck the old nair on a bit of a sting sting stingy kind of affair but anyway we're going to give this a crack and see how that goes I've had procedures done before as tattooing and stuff. That hurt. Now, I, I don't want to put this on the same level, hopefully. So if I can cop a, I had a 12 hour set tattoo session. I can tell you that hurts. So I don't, if this hurts anything like that, then, jeez, <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> but uh, I think I can put up with it, I think. It could be all right. No. Usually does the job, but I do it every, well, I don't know, once in a blue moon. No, well, well, technically they're making products to just get you through that day, but two days later it'll regrow because you're cutting it off at the skin and, or you'll burn yourself at home. I've had people in the past that have burned themselves at home, not even following, not because they couldn't follow the instructions properly, but just because the instructions were wrong. That, that will eventually damage you further. So ingrowns, don't even talk to me about ingrowns. I've got a cure for ingrowns, so if you have ingrowns, come see me. I will tell you what to do. Do not worry. Um, usually when I'm feeling a bit more hornier than normal, I'll uh, get rid of the hair, strut my stuff out into the bedroom, put my one leg up on the bed. There it goes. Hands on the side, look like Superman. Mm. And say to my wife, start licking. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're looking like Superman right now, so. All we're going to do is get rid of a bit of this hair. Okay. I'm going to give you a full clean up from your snail trial down. Okay. And good luck. I think I'm ready. Now you've got to tell me if this is slightly warm for you. No, it's, it's not. It's warm. Okay. It's definitely oh, it's warm. warm. Okay. I'll turn it down. Just no, no, it's good. It's good. It's good. 
Now this is obviously going to last you longer than your hair. I hope so. Yeah, well, yeah. Nair's expensive. Correct. Nair is? Mm -hmm. What's waxing? Waxing won't be cheap either. Yes it is. Is that? We are cheaper. 30 to 50 dollars for a whole Brazilian and you're out. Yeah? Come on. That's alright. It's going to last you six to eight weeks. Okay. okay. What do you mean six to eight weeks? Like there's no hair coming back for six to eight weeks? Correct. It tickles no, her nose. Just... Along the skinny lines. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, he's not wrong. <laughs> That's for sure, he's not wrong. <laughs> In those painted on ears, what did you hear? Painted on ears. David, I can't even talk like this, louder than this, because your dumbo ears be like, use this f***ing ear. Is that you trying to be a man again? Don't stop trying well, to be a man. You, you keep trying you to ain't be a man. Because you got a heritage chest, you think like you're a some type of man. You ain't a man, bitch. Trying to. You ain't a heritage chest got nothing to do with nothing. Oh, you? okay. Can you do that? Yeah, titty f***. Actually, titty f***ing guy one. You can actually titty this guy. Like, if you want a hairy titty, see David. See David. See, see David for a hairy titty. See him for a hairy titty. If you're into hairy titty, which no one is. It's oh, they're like, all into not like I had, I had to settle for a hairy titty. Well, you settled. You settled for me, did you? Oh gosh, I love you. You could have done better. I love you. That guy was like, are you married? And I'm like, are you married? And he's like, are you married? And I'm like, are you married? And he's like, no, I'm not. And I'm like, well, he proposed, but we're not married yet. Because I'm from Johannesburg. Good, good. The marriage shall continue. Marriage shall Is, continue. Where's your ring? I don't wear it. My finger's got a bit fat. Uh, I, so got, I got fat. I mean, I got I got fat this season. Like, like I put on a bit of weight, but as long as I'm healthy, I'm here. I lost, I lost big kilos. And I think now I put on probably ten. Just during filming, I don't really have much time to like go for walks and do all that kind of stuff anymore. But then come season six, I'll be thin and gorgeous. Do you remember how skinny I used to be? Go ahead, just come. And then you ruined my life. With all your problems. Ruined your life. Apparently when I was at my worst, you were at your best. So isn't it amazing how the world just turns? And it's always made to look the wrong way. And think about that for a moment. Uh -huh. When I was at my best, I still chose to come back and help you at your worst. That's just sweet. Yeah.
Better than I expected it was going to be. It hurt a little bit, but not as bad as I thought it was going to hurt, and uh, smooth as a baby's bum. Yeah, I probably would. I think I would do it again. It's probably a lot, uh, feels a lot better. The aftermath feels a lot better than the actual near experience. So I think I will come back and do it again. Definitely. Did my book make you feel comfortable? Yes, very indeed. I had a team around me of experts. It was a pretty good experience. It was all right. Now, I'm probably gonna go uh, home. All right, so uh, yeah, so now gonna go home, maybe after that, uh, find somewhere to go have some dinner, date night. So uh, go out, have something to eat, and uh, hopefully get my freak on tonight. <laughs> Oh my god, let's discuss our old story. Oh she wrote when we used to live next to two cousins who f each other. Yeah, that was That was, that was gross. like sick. So wouldn't their children technically no, be No, don't talk about their children. I'm just I'm I'm no, I'm they're they're uh, you see, you'd, you'd go somewhere else. Uh, if you just stopped interrupting every time someone else spoke, you'd get a bit ahead in life, Michael. How much had Tom's hair? Never. Dick joke. Apparently you have that for breakfast. Dick joke. I'm in it. You know what I'm eating for breakfast? We all believe you. This. What's this? Frizzle Glens. I'm eating this for breakfast. This is my brekkie. You have chocolate for breakfast? Oh, it's my, it's my breakfast. Oh. In this house, we eat chocolate cake for breakfast. Not me. If I was eating this every day from Zill Glens, forget about it. This is the only chocolate I'd have every day. This is gorgeous. You know, I can't believe Coles doesn't stop. You know what really struck me wrong? I, I didn't even tell you. <clears throat> I did this shit. You know how I always um, look at uh, taxation requirements and stuff oh, like that? Yeah, I go. Taxation. So there you go, I had an interesting point that you go interrupted on. once again. No, f you. No, we f you, Michael. We stop. Do you know, you the just Cole. said- Something about coal. Yeah, something about coal. And your, then you interrupted. They broke their name, because I'm not here to sponsor you. I'm pulling out all the stops on coals, mate. They don't pay corporate tax. They don't pay GST. So I'm confused as to why I actually have to go to coals and buy a bag of anything, and I pay GST. Because that's not passed on. Then you've got places like Seal Glens. Guy works like a dog. The guy works like a dog. He's not a dog, he's quite handsome. Jeez, you- But he works hard. Your brain is He, he works very like, hard. Like, you don't understand the, the mere nuances of, like, conversation, English conversation. Unless it's a cockpit, you can't- Like, you cannot read in between the lines. You just can't. Bro. So, off, go wax. Yeah, go do something you can do. Tell us about your experience penis waxing. Do you wax your own penis? Oh, I'd rather not answer that. It's totes and a I was really, really happy with uh, his result. 
Some people, they tend to spot blood the first time they're waxed, but he didn't. He's got beautiful skin. It's a great result. And Tiffany was happy. So I think he'll definitely be back again. But yes, yes, I do. You do what? Yes, I do wax down there. I don't need to be bitchy. I'm, okay. I'm not the bitch. You try to paint me on this TV show to be some kind of bitch, but I'm not. I'm really the sweetest person you'll ever meet. And I decided to do it because I saw Lawrence do it. Remember Lawrence from season two? And he didn't flinch when he did it, so I thought it must be hurt. I'm going back now to season one, when you tried to make me look like some anti-feminist, vagina-hating something because girls came to me and I explained true stories that have happened to me. You come in here with period pads and stinky vaginas and this and that. And here I am just trying to tell you what happens in my day today, and you take that as offensive. Like, I thought you don't do Brazilian waxes. Okay, so the first time I did it, it was... You know when you're like in so much pain, it's shocking that you laugh? I don't know how to describe it, but it's like that. And then the second, third time you get it done, it's, it's normal and it doesn't hurt at all. So I'm, I'm now at the non-flinching stage, like Lawrence. Bitch, I have done Brazilian waxes since that episode. So if you're offended by that, okay, or you think, oh no, he doesn't do it, so whatever. I don't care what your junk looks like. Do you get that? Come in here. I treat you like a human being. I've been waxing vaginas now that I thought, hey, never thought you'd trust me. Good on you. I'm so proud of you. But thank you for sharing before the appointment. Like everybody else has the decency to. No one's seen my dick, actually. But if you go and you want to go on the other bandwagon? I had a guy last week shit on my finger. Oh, oh you don't like that? Fuck oh, up. Oh, you don't like that? Okay. He came for a butt wax and there was shit on my finger. Don't talk about my dick. Talk about Michael's. That's all over the place. Uh, like, so you can go both ways. It depends how you edit things and how you tell stories. Your mouth. Watch your mouth. Watch your You should watch your mouth. A bitch is depressed. I'm I mean, it's a mouth to mouth. You see the mistakes? You know what I am about? I am the chair. I have a trip. I am not making a mouth. Attention. I'm going to need you to face front. Y'all want to smoke with me? This is a lace blunt. Raps Jackie Chan, but I'm pulling no face front. My crown Nikki. won't Sorry, fit on your bomb you, ass lace. Sorry, Nikki, 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 look, Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Yeah, what RuPaul? 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 RuPaul, is that depressed? What RuPaul, RuPaul, RuPaul did to Nikki? Why well, you got money? Is that acceptable, man? Is that acceptable? I don't know. I would never do that to her, man. I mean, I tell you, if I don't like you, I don't like you, but I like her. Look, someone's standing outside trying to see what's going on. One in an hour for interviews and. Silence. So excited. I am so excited. Uh, is this <laughs> walking? He's walking. Am I walking? Here we go. Shit. Oh, we've got a customer now. The door's locked. Did you lock the door or you just can't come in? I did lock the door. Oh, well, maybe just turn the cameras off. But anyway. <sighs> you don't have his concept for me. No, oh, that's fine. Love you. Until next time. I'm a dick.